I had a thing in the background that said Smosh Boy. So I was like, oh, right, he works at Smosh now. I wonder how they're doing. And then, like, almost probably 10 months later, I actually start watching their videos and I find them entertaining. I feel like Smosh is one of, like, the four pillars of early internet, early YouTube culture. It's like... Yeah, it was. It was the like, most um, subscribed YouTube channel, I think, three times in, like, pre-2010. Mm. Like, three separate years, it was number one on YouTube. And they're the Those only ones that are still around, I think. They're still around. They're still kicking. They're, like, 20... 7 million subscribers, I think? Yeah. Maybe less? I can't remember. It's a double forward smash by just, Ghana. Just do it twice. He'll fall into it. And then he did. I, like, when you think of that era of YouTube, you think of, like, Smosh, you think of, like, Ray William Johnson, you think of... PewDiePie, because he's still there. Yeah. Uh, like, Fred. Remember Fred? Oh my god, yeah. Remember when he had, a, like, three Nickelodeon movies and John Cena played his dad? Yeah, that was a weird era. <laughs> I mean, kind of funny to meme. Yeah. That was a strange era. Like, not even John Cena playing his dad, it was just John Cena was his dad. Yeah, it was a, we it was a weird shtick. Oh, another one. Forward smash. It just, it worked. <laughs> Pac-Man has some of, like, the craziest frame data for one of the, like, uh, more trap-oriented characters. You, you wouldn't think, like, a character that has to kind of sit back and set up things would have as good frame data as he does on his, like, forward air, on his forward smash, on down air, all these new, like, neutral air, dash attack, everything's so safe. That white Pikmin was eating that pellet for a while. <laughs> His his four smashes are really disjointed. I wouldn't say they're too fast. Oh, I, I didn't say the forward smash was fast. I meant like the frames on it are crazy. It lasts for such a long time and it's so disjointed. That's what I meant for the forward smash. Everything else I oh, talked okay. about the speed. The the full package of the forward. Yeah. Smash. It's a little too hot to handle. <laughs> that grab very easy to handle. It grabs him through the hydrant. That was funny looking. The the water combos are always weird when it comes to just doing stuff around them. Because when you're moving, sometimes moves don't <laughs> act right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I definitely like any any, for, any form of like a a like separated attack. Like it's not connected to your character. You don't move with the attack. Like you move away from it, so you can't actually use it. Like Bayo forward, like Bayo smash attacks, you can't use those and ride the water. Yeah, there's gonna be so many different like weird interactions uh, with Pikmin, Hydrant, all these different like little intricacies in the matchup. Yeah, with both of them having so many projectiles, sort Ooh. of like an apple <laughs> to the face. It's gone stale. That's why it's so hard. There's this, like, so I work with, uh, like, children. I take care of them during the day, and I help facilitate um, distance learning. And there was this um, project, like, well, we do projects in our free time. There's this project that we, like, were supposed to do a few weeks ago where we, like, mummified an apple. What kind of serial killers? We would like, they wanted us to like carve a face into it and then like put it in different solutions and then wrap it in gauze and then put it in a bag. And then I think the only one solution of... you're going to get is a psychopathic murderer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't end up doing that. It seemed like a bit convoluted for my kids. And I don't think like. Oh, so they had to carve faces. How old are they? Uh, my group is third, fourth, and fifth grade. But they're still not old enough to be handling knives. Or anything <laughs> that could carve, like, a face to where they're like, Oh, I get it, it's a face. Yeah. What are they gonna use, a toothpick? 
They didn't, like, give us tools to carve the face with, so I assume they wanted us to use, like, Probably plastic knives, spoons. Yeah, or, oh, like... you know, pla I guess if the apple... You could probably get a spoon in there. I feel like a kid would maybe have trouble doing that. They'd probably just, like, a, like a single scoop for each eye and then probably one for the mouth. That seems like a really convoluted project to do at home and not yeah, have someone, was... like, physically show you. That was the apple that 34 got hit with, was the mummified apple from three weeks ago. Convoluted way of <laughs> making some <laughs> sort of reference. I can't say I'm not guilty of doing the same thing before. I probably have. Look, if you can make one person laugh and that person is yourself, then that's all that matters. <laughs> then then <laughs> you're sad. <laughs> Or, I think what I was trying to... Oh, I think your mic cut off. Yeah. Did we lose him? Oh, sweetie, talk to me! God, he's like me when I'm driving, just disassociating completely. I'm not kidding. Sorry, I got dropped up for a second. I'm back. He was just driving down a long highway, just zoned out. <laughs> See, I made both of you laugh. Same joke. True. Also, he's got two purples right there. He's just standing in front of him while he's charging. That's a, that's a big lineup right there. The two purples and the yellow. That's a. What that's is a the, what's one. the yellow special property? Like what it actually does, uh, minus just having sparkly effect. Does it? Oh, does it um, do bonus damage? It's because it's electric. So it does more hit stun because it's electric. Oh, okay. And then uh, I believe it does similar damage to red, but like a little less. Maybe maybe similar damage to blue. I think similar damage to blue. I don't actually know the Pikmin damages, aside from purple strong and white weak. It's uh, purple, red, and then blue and yellow tied, and then white. What? Okay. That's actually really simple. Yeah. Red is typically the safest to have because it does like a ton of damage and it's Longer range and faster than purple is, but purple just the damage output purple that purple is can so produce is beefy yeah. that they like it actually is crazy damage. It but just makes just up a for little it. too high to get punished for now. Mm -hmm. All right, good up <laughs> there from thirty-four. Gonna be the yeah. He, he read the read on the rolling on that. Oh, that was uh, okay. That was weird. I think it stunned a Pikmin, then another Pikmin, and then him. It, yeah, it's sort of similar to, um, like, playing Ice Climbers and you hit Nana. Like, that's gonna extend your her or hitboxes. That's what's happening with the Pikmin here, is they're getting their... Or they're extending the hitboxes of some of Ganon's moves. I thought you were gonna say getting their teeth kicked in. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Ganon is slaughtering a lot of Pikmin here, but... Luckily, he only has, has a high to supply, so... His KDA is enormous. Oh, so 34 just completely threaded a needle through the through everything that Ghana just threw at him. Just flying through it. I feel like that's sort of, like, the most important thing when you're fighting a Pac-Man, is being able to thread a needle. Unlike Couldn't that. there. <laughs> Sorry, 34, you lost your selling license. Also, his, um, Galaxia was just, like, stuck on the fire hydrant. Did you see that? I did see that. That was really weird looking. I think it maybe... It was strange. Pikmin? Possibly? Because I thought it was supposed to just, like, go through anyways. I'm not sure. Well, we are approaching percent where, um, a blue up there will start to kill. And he has a blue on the field, but he is off stage without a jump right now. He's got to be really careful getting back. 
This could be dangerous because he does have to land, but the Fire Hydrant coming out. 34 has been getting hit by a lot of Fire Hydrants. He also almost got hit by another secondary Ooh. Fire Hydrant because of the loop extending it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, there's that blue. He was just fishing for that the whole time. Cyber in the chat is telling us uh, if we ever need Olimar or Olimar and Pikmin information, he's got us with the hookup. So if you're ever confused oh, cool. about anything, Thank you, Cyber. Cyber's right there. Cyber's also sitting in a. Uh, in Winterside Grands. So, winner of this match, gonna meet Cyber. Both of these players had a run in with Cyber in Winterside Bracket. Um, both falling 3-1, I believe. Which has kind of been like, the staple of Fred and Annette play as of recently, is a lot of 3-1s in finals. Is. Finale as the Finale is Fina losing. Finals matches is what I was trying Final to say. Final losers. <laughs> Floozy. Sorry, that's what I was trying to say the whole time. <laughs> um, interesting to see Ghana run it back to FD. I wouldn't expect this after the kind of 34 was in control of a lot of the last match. I've learned to never question the stage pick. Because you don't know what they're thinking. That's true. You don't know why someone picks a stage. Stage picking is still like such a weird thing. It's kind of in Smash just in general. Mm -hmm. Because some people just genuinely do not care what stage they go to. And other times it's like, if I get hit by a combo like that, I'm going to quit immediately. That, was that like weak hit back air into forward smash? I've I, never seen that before. I think so. I threw up in my mouth. It was so disgusting. That's like... It's like the one thing that separates Pac-Man from the rest of the top tiers is he doesn't have like that one broken combo that's super easy to pull off that'll get a kill. That is what he's needing. <laughs> Ghana's kind of showing off and saying, you know what, maybe Pac-Man is like top 5, top 10. Maybe Pac-Man can win. Maybe if I don't mess up like I did the last game. Mm -hmm. Maybe I do I'm feel just like gonna... in the last game, he was just kind of taking a lot of percent from the Pikmin. He would just let them latch onto him sometimes. I think it's a little hard for Pac-Man to get them off of him. Um, I think he can maybe like nair them off or up B them off, but both of those put him in a lot of lag, so. Yeah, if he's in a bad position, I can see how it would be a little bit difficult. You can't just really use a super safe move and not get punished for it. Mm. Oh, good Hydrant. Yeah, that hydrant placement, the angle he was able to hit it at, helped him a lot. It was sort of like a slow Gordo. I'm loving these Galaxian plays. Ghana has a- Oh, that, that gut's gonna kill! Wow, and that rage probably helped him out there on getting the kill on that one. Because he wasn't 123. But I forgot that down air sends straight to the side. Yeah, it's such, like, a weird kill move. You don't expect it to, like, first off, kill, and second off, like, combo off of forward air. Like, you think pac just gonna, like, force you off stage, go back to the stage, and charge up his fruit, set up his hydra, and whatever. No, he can run out there and edge, or, uh, yeah, edge guard with the best. I don't think any of us expected that to happen. <laughs> Is that a three stock? Yeah. That was Ghana just like immediately shutting me up and saying, you know what? I am going to go back to FD and it's going to work out perfectly for me. I'm going to three stock this man. Shut up, Oat.
Yeah, take some advice from Ariana and shut up. Oh, who was that band that did that? Shut up and dance. Walk the moon. I Isn't think it was Walk the Moon. That sounds familiar because I was listening to that song like early quarantine, when I would just go on like that random, you know, when you go on that random like binge on YouTube of like old songs that you vaguely remember. Yeah. And that song was one of them. I'm pretty sure Walk the Moon is that band. It sounds familiar. That singer for Walk the Moon looks like he's like 50 years old. I remember all like, of them looking the same. But he's like in his mid 30s and he just he just looks like an old Scottish man for some reason. I, I know of some people who are like do not look that old and they are or who look a lot older than they are but they're only in like their early 30s. Mm -hmm. And I know some people who are like in their late 20s and they look like teenagers. That's me when I don't have uh, my beard. I look like a baby. I look like a fat baby. And I don't like having facial hair. I just find it uncomfortable. I used to not like it. Oh, good back there with the with the beefy lineup of purple, red, purple. Um, I used to not like it, but like I grew it out in like twenty. 17? And I just haven't gone back yet. Yeah, I just don't want- I don't want, like... I don't know, I just don't want one. <laughs> you don't want to, to commit to having one. Yeah, I don't want to commit to having a beard. Partially because for I just don't- straight up don't want one. Also, I don't want to have to, like, take care of it. Mm-hmm. Because you do have to treat it like the hair on your head. True. This is sort of similar to what we saw in game two, where um, 34 got out to an early lead, and it was kind of hard for Ghana to make the comeback. Pac-Man's not really like a comeback character. He plays really well with a lead, but when you're behind, it's really hard for him to kind of string percent and damage together with a ton of combos. Yeah, it's not like... It, he doesn't really have, like, the quickness in killing too easily because of his, kind of, the nature of his character being a zoner. Um, mm. It's not often you're able to get a crazy combo. Like, sometimes you can, but it, it's not easiest thing in the world. Um, he is mm. trying to get some of those combos there, but the Galaxia is almost starting something. Um, unfortunately, he eats, I think, a, a Pikmin of some sort. I think it was a Pikmin that hit a, hit the Hydrant at him. I, I think so. I actually couldn't remember what was happening, because I was looking at him, and then he got hit, and then I kept looking at him as he was <laughs> flying away. So I forgot fully what he got hit by. So a forward smash instead of an up smash. Maybe the up smash wouldn't have hit. It's always my favorite little Pac-Man trick, is seeing the up smash send it, uh, the Hydrant backwards. Is it like because the first hit uh, pops it, so that's why it goes yeah. that way? Yeah, I believe um, Pac-Man's Hydrant has somewhere around 15 health, and Pac-Man back air does exactly 14. So you can oh, hit it with the back Yeah, so you can hit it with the back air, and then whatever you hit it with next will pop the Hydrant. And that key coming out, not killing him though, um, that wa that melon might. No, it won't, didn't hit him at all. And this is 139 to 80. It is a full stock difference though, so even if Cyber, not Cyber, <laughs> 34 does lose his stock. I'm so used to watching Cyber. I mean, we're gonna get Cyber. Ooh, four we're getting him game. the next set, no matter who we. Yeah. But if Ghana takes the stock right here, we're gonna get him in the next match, because that would be Ghana in yeah. Yeah, Ghana wanting to run this Olimar bracket today. The gauntlet, if you will. I don't know if back throw was the right call there. Um he 
You didn't have him grabbed with blue and the red was stacking up the extra damage. Maybe up there would have killed? I'm not sure though. I thought he didn't have the blue. The blue was the one that grabbed him there, I think. Unless it was purple. I thought it was the purple. Hmm. Because if it was blue, I think he would have gone for the up throw. Like he did just now. Yeah. I thought it was blue because it looked like it had a decent amount of range on the grab, and I know purple's range is terrible, but I could be wrong. That could have just been my mistake. So yeah, going into game five now. Um, I'm going to be interested to see where uh, Ghana takes him. Um, we saw him run it back to FD in the last time. But now he can't go back to FD because modified DSR. So he would have wherever they played game one, which I think was small battlefield open. And that's where we're going. It's going to small battlefield. Would you like a battlefield on portion control? That I got you covered. <laughs> that was that was probably the most random patch we got. Was just the addition of small battlefield. <laughs> the addition of small battlefield and nothing else. No patch notes at all. They maybe fixed like one or two things. With the I think it was like Ooh, bug fixes good. probably because they maybe had been meaning to do some. Yeah. But it was it was small battlefield. And then I think Omega Forms and Battlefield. There's also like the, the music changes for. Um, yeah, the music changes. Yeah. Which was which was nice because you could have like the Wii Shop channel on like the Battlefield and FD stages. Mm -hmm. Ashley song. Yeah. Or some better music like the Wii Sports Resort. Do, 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 do. Whoa. I used to play that game so much. Did you find all 80 of the, like, island things in, with the flying minigame? Absolutely not. Okay, so... I was, I was a young child. I, the, I don't think I've actually 100%ed, like, anything other than, like, Fail 2. Hmm. There was like one mini game where you flew around the island on a helicopter, or not a helicopter, in a um, in it an was airplane. Like a, yeah, it was like a single person airplane, like a crop duster type of plane. Yeah, yeah, and you had to find like 80 hotspots around the island, or 80 points of interest rather. And for like two years, my brother and I were stuck on 79. It's a and lot of were... areas actually when you think about it, considering how tiny that island is. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's like, not only was there like the island, the main island, but there's also like the golf subsection island. And then there was just like random points of interest in the water. Yeah, I don't remember like, the, I, I have very vague memory of it, just kind of in general. Mm -hmm. Oh, just charge that up, Smash 34. He just sat it there. He knew he was going to do a neutral get up. Yeah, the he flying minigame. Maybe he was a little bit too far. The flying minigame was my favorite, along with um, basketball. I loved the basketball in the sports resort. Up throw kill him there, too. 34 with a commanding lead right now. He's looking to put gonna away again with this power lineup two purples and a red that is such a scary thing to be facing down as a pac-man when you know you can't do like a ton of burst damage and you're looking at the king of burst damage right here which is, which is Olimar. He almost just started, like, probably a 50 or 60% combo if he had hit that purple. 
Maybe Rage would have ruined it a little bit, but something. That's gonna do it though, yeah. Yeah, that should, that should do it. 190. Even if I look though it's across from stage. Mm -hmm. But if you're 34, you have to feel like you're in a great position. You're... You've got a full two you're stops, up so your opponent. You're up 45% yeah. as well. And there's three minutes left on the clock. Like, this is the position to be in as Olimar. And he's not switching anything. I'll be switching my Pikmin to blue. Ew. <laughs> For those counting at home, that's the second straight week of a Ariana Grande song turned into a Pikmin reference. <laughs> it's actually the same song. Uh, no, it's not the same song. Same album. Same album. I still need to make that picture. I never did. I know exactly what screenshot from the music video I want to use as well. I just need to get it. <laughs> well, I like the attempt there with the bell, but... A for, <laughs> a for attempt. Getting down to two minutes left on the clock, and Gauna is at 128 on tournament stock right now. I don't think this is going to time. That's going to be a back air right there and closing it out. Yeah, Red Pikmin smacked him in the face. 